just have to finish. She's going to have to finish with a charge. She leads Martina Ertl by point too far after the first run. Ertl, as we've just seen, was lightning quick in the second leg. She's really going to have to be confident in her own ability to keep it together. That's the biggest thing with her. She has a tendency to get a little bit too erratic and make a few too many mistakes. She's going to have to be consistent and solid. Right now, we see, we're seeing some great skiing by Horvat. Yeah, it's looking good. Point four two. So far, so good for Ushka Horvat. It might not be Martina Ertl's victory quite yet. A couple of little twitch mistakes from the Slovenian, but she's staying on course and she seems to have dealt with the confidence problem. She looks like she'll finish but will she finish ahead of Martina Ertl the target time is 129.41 that's Ertl's time as Ushka Hovac comes through she's got it six hundredths of a second unbelievable finally she puts together two good slalom runs I was wrong I bow <laughs> I bow to Ushka Hovac she did enough to come through and win the last slalom of the season and what a way to finish Martina Ertl finishes second with Hildegerg in third the German stranglehold on the women's skiing is broken at last and the Germans come over to congratulate Rovat who has had so many problems dealing with the pressure of the big occasion in the second run. She dealt with it more than uh, adequately on that occasion and she came through to win. Brilliant run from Urska Rovat, her first uh, World Cup win of the season, her first World Cup win for quite some time. She really skied well, you know, she, she got so tight on the turning pole. I was noticing towards the middle part of the course, she really started to turn it on. Her line, her timing, the execution of the turn, the quick commas that are known so well in, in excellent slalom skiing. It, it, she, she deserves that win today, you know. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Held it together under immense pressure. She, she'd have been absolutely aware of what Martina Ertl had achieved, but she knew she had the advantage and tactically she played a blinder there because uh, she just did enough. It was a very, very narrow win, but it uh, doesn't really matter because it's it's a win. And Ushka Hovac keeps the Slovenian supporters, and there are hundreds of them here in Crum Montana, happy. She is thrilled. I have Martina Ertl with Hilda Gerg third, Christina Kosnick fourth for the USA, then Slovenia's. Uh, Alenka Dovjan, then Karen Roten and Laurent Magoni, then Ilva Noen in eighth, the World Cup Salem champion, Sabina Egger ninth, and Spelov Pretnos. The Slovenians all over the place in this second round. Then Galizio, 